Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Brandon. And I'm Eli. And welcome back to the whole series of learning how to put together your own custom built computer. Alright, so in this video we're going over how to install your CD DVD drive as well as your hard drive or hard drives if you have more than one. So, uh, Eli, if you'll get the camera please. Oh, oh man, the camera. Yeah. In the meantime, I'll go ahead and turn this forward so that they can see what the heck's going on. All right. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna turn up the ISO real quick, so. So that way they can see a little bit better. Yeah, I'm gonna look at you. ISO. Oh, whoa, that's bright. Yeah. All right. Okay. Anyway, Eli, we're doing the front panel first. Okay. Okay. So obviously, we're gonna need to have one of these slots open for our CD DVD drive. So to do that, we'll just go ahead and pop this off. Luckily, this has a little handle on the bottom, so do that. And don't be afraid of breaking it, cause they're pretty tough usually. <laughs> All right, so um, seeing as this front slot is already open and I don't feel like breaking any of these things off to get to another one, I'll just go ahead and use the top slot. So I'll just go ahead and pop off this little front panel right here. Ta-da! And I'll just put this guy back on. Right. And then, there we go. Okay, that was easy. Simple enough. And let's go ahead and grab our, uh, our Asus CD DVD drive. And this is gonna go in from the front, so let's just put that on in, like that. All right, so from here, you're gonna wanna go ahead and line it up as far you know out or in as you want. You know, obviously I like having it nice and flush with the rest of it, so probably right around there, that looks good to me. Mm -hmm. And then Eli, if you wanna take a look at this part right here. So, um, it, this part is a little different between different cases, but Cooler Master, seeing as they're freaking awesome, just has these little slide in things. So, you, with this, you just push it over as far as it goes, and then lock that down, and that's it for that. But on other cases, they're gonna have to, uh, they're gonna have screws on each side, so you screw, uh, screw in your screw, take off the other panel on the other side, and screw in that screw as well. So. Yeah, get a Cooler Master, that's basically what we're saying. Yeah, so go we are not master. endorsed by them either. No, we are not. Wink, wink, hint, hint, nod, nod. Alright. <laughs> so, seeing as that was nice and easy squeezy, uh, let's go ahead and grab one of our hard drives over here. We have two. We've got two of them. It feels so dangerous just kind of leaving them there, but whatever, what can you do? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, seeing as this case is kind of unique for one reason or another, um, the hard drive has special little mounts on the side that you need to use, which comes with the case, so that's pretty handy. So we'll grab these two dealios, and so let's put this uh, the back facing towards the camera. So as you see, this got a little notch thing. You see what I see? Yeah. All right, so this goes more towards the, the front or the back, depends which way you look at it, where all the little ports are, and so we got one for each side, like that. See? Yep. All right, so this gets pretty straightforward. If you look on the side right here, you see it's got a little square notch right there, mm -hmm. and that's to fit that little piece right there. Let me get it focused. Boom, okay, so that piece goes into that little so, square. So you basically just slide it on in, and you hear a little Ta -da. That was pretty Ex simple. Extremely simple. So let's do the other one. So we're <laughs> gonna do a second one. Da -da -da -da. Batman. Each one of these is 500 gigs. Yeah. So I know I only showed one hard drive to begin with. This is actually an older one that I had from a different computer. And instead of putting this right next to it, I'm gonna put it down in one slot. Why not? Why would you do that? Just because I can. Why can't they be friends? You know, it depends on your personality. Yeah. You know what, Eli? Just because you're giving me a hard time about it, put it down even more. Hey! <laughs> Back of the bus. You know what? Actually, this might help out a little bit later, and you'll see why. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our SATA cables to connect the hard drives and the CD DVD drive to the motherboard. So let's go ahead and grab one of these guys over here. So in case you don't remember, that's what the SATA looks like. That's what the SATA looks like. It's got that little notch that goes down like a frowny face. Looks good. All right. So let's just go ahead and put this guy right in there. Where? 
Oh. Where does it connect? Let's see. So see, it kind of fits that smaller one right there with the little notch on it. Yeah. So pretty straightforward. Ta da! So I'm just trying to. I'm asking questions for the viewers, so it kind of That's saves true. us some work in the. Okay. In the future. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this and match it up with one of these guys down here. So this is the the SATA one slots. So we'll just prop it right in. Ta da! Okay. And then same thing for this guy. Right here. So in it goes. Same way, is that the same connection? Yeah, same as that connection. See, wow, that's, see that's really easy. Look at that. Ta da! Thanks, Brandon, for teaching us this. And then SATA 2 slot is right there. And it doesn't really matter which SATA connection you put it into as long as it's there. So don't worry about that too much. And then, of course, I have another cable, which this is actually an old one that came with my other case that I used forever ago. So don't assume that your case comes with three, because it probably doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to go to Radio Shack. Okay, so Eli, if you look right here, it's basically the same exact concept. You got the SATA connector, and then this is actually going to be the power right here. So we'll plug that in to that. SATA, and, and then you can plug it into any SATA port, right? Uh-huh. So probably, well, that it, plugging it in, into like one of those ports that doesn't change where on the computer you have to connect it. Uh, what do you mean exactly? Like, uh, like you know this front, this front thing right here. Uh huh. That has to be because you plug that into. It was this one. That red cable, right? Does it have to be in that? Well, is that, or could it have that, been put in the SATA 1 or SATA 2 port? It, it could have been put into SATA 1 or SATA 2. As long it as just it, needs a SATA port. It just needs a SATA port and you're set to go. Okay. Uh -huh. well, that's pretty easy. All right. So <laughs> that's literally all there is to connecting your hard drive or your uh, CD DVD drive. But keep in mind that if you have uh, an S S8, SSD solid state drive, it'll be kind of the same thing, but it might be different depending on the case. For example, in this case, there's a different mount. Uh, looks like this right here. Well, let me see it. See that? Um, let me see. Okay. Yeah, that mount. Okay. So yeah, so this so this mount would go for an SSD because they're smaller. Uh, I don't remember the exact dimensions. I think it's 2.5 inches versus the 3.5. On these guys, so they're a little basically smaller. our wiener size, yeah. Exactly. So anyway, <laughs> but, all right. So that's all there is to it. So in the next video, we're gonna go over connecting the power supply and all of the little connections to go with that, which seems intimidating. So we'll do that step by step and make it pretty simple. All right. So uh, until then, see you next time.